Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at making our own customized plastic cleanup tool. So one of the things for quite a while I've been using is this cleanup tool I got off of Amazon. And I'll have a link to this below if you haven't seen this before or been using this. Uh, so it's, it's a handy little device. You can also get different little bits. The uh, bits uh, pop out of here and, well, yep, like that. And you can put different ones in or once this one dulls. Uh, etc. And uh, if I can get this back in. And then, because the idea is what happens is you take it and you run it around the typically the inside. And it does a pretty good job on the inside, but the problem is on the outside it doesn't do so well you know, because it wants to lift off here and that kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've been utilizing um, basically, uh, I have a number of these burr bits from the CNC machine, if you will. And it does a very nice job running across the grain against this, and it holds to the corners a lot better, both inside and out. And uh, pretty effective, but the thing is, I gotta hold it like this, and it kinda gets kinda wanky. So, what I decided in this episode is um, I'm going to make a handle for this so it's easier to hold and uh, easier to use, use on something like this or any type of plastic. And the neat thing about this is, is you can get all types of these bits, uh, you know, these are roughly eight, eighth inch bits, I'll spit that out here, it's early. And um, I use them all the time, all different sizes to clean out holes, etc. So I think it'd be kind of cool to kind of build up a little bit of a repository of handles in these bits that I use uh, to help me clean up plastic products. And so I figured I would share this with you because I think, that, hey, this is a handy idea. So I tell you what, let's go jump into the computer and take a look at how we're going to design a handle to receive one of these and we'll go from there. So we'll see in the computer. Okay, so here we are in the computer. So one of the first things I did is went to uh, my go-to source, Thingiverse in this case, and looked for a handle, and I found this one. And one of the reasons that I selected this one is it has a larger, what they refer to as a husky handle. So I want a bit larger handle like the plastic cleanup tool, um, which, which we looked at at the onset of this. So that's why I selected this model. Now I've already downloaded this and I have Tinkercad open. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go and import that file. So uh, we're just going to go to import and we're going to find the right subdirectory here which could take a moment. And um, I should try to group them all together. Net driver handle uh, net driver handle. Here we go, files. We want the Husky version, and we're going to open this bad boy up, and we're going to import it. And so I take a minute or two to import, and so we have it uh, in the model, or in Tinkercad. Sorry, we have the model in Tinkercad. Now, notice it has a hex opening in the bottom, so we're going to need to fix that uh, first off. Uh, however, I want to first bring the ruler down here, and I want to see uh, how far we have. So this is 84 millimeters, so an inch is roughly uh, 25, a little over 25 millimeters. So 50 would be 2 inches, 75 roughly 3. So this is a little short of uh, I think 4 inches. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make this a little bit longer. Um, so I want to stretch this up. Uh, and that's sort of the great thing about it. And I want to see my maximum is 31, so it's a little over an inch. And so I want to make this probably about, oh, 33. And I'm going to make this uniform, so 33 here. A little bit bigger so it feels comfortable in my hands. Uh, I'm pretty much liking this, just uh, checking everything out here. Uh, so just double check my size, so I'm roughly at 108. Um, so again, a little bit short of four, sorry, just want to think about this. So 100 would be about four inches. So yeah, it should be a little bit shorter. It should be around four inches long. So that should be pretty good. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to, we have to solve for that hole in the bottom because we want to put our own hole there and we want it to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this, and then quarter inch is usually about 6.25 millimeters or thereabouts. So I'm going to go 10 millimeters just to kind of fill this in. And I don't know how far it goes up, but um, again, I'm just I'm going to go 10. And then I'm just going to put this inside here. And 
I'm going to select this whole piece and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my align tool, one of my favorite tools, or my I should say my favorite tool inside uh, Tinkercad. And you can see here at the bottom, so I, I'm uh, rather proud of the quarter inch hex opening. Uh, so it covers it perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this and join this. So now this is a solid handle once again. So now what I need to do is I'm going to bring this uh, over here and then what I'm going to do is I want this to be 12.5 millimeters and I'll explain that in a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 3 millimeters because my bits are 3 millimeters in size. And then what I also want to do is I want some strain relief um, in this. So I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to say uh, basically 0.5 millimeters. And I'm going to say this is going to be 6 millimeters. Mm, thinking six, that's about double on each side. I'm going to go actually 10. And then I am going to go here also, I'm thinking just a second. Uh, I'm going to go again 12.5 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into this piece. Uh, and then go again, go back and hit my align. And so I've got everything aligned there. And then let's zoom this in because I'm going to have to bring this in. I'm going to have to move this over. Okay, so roughly hits that line. Just make sure I've got everything. Oops, did not align properly. I missed it. So I want to go back to my line and then just hit this. And uh, for some reason, it's a little bit close, so I keep missing it. There we go. We we have it. So I want to do a join on this. So I'm going to join my holes together. So now I have a complex hole. And so I want to go ahead and center it in here. But what I want to do first is I want to go here and I want to say negative 0.5 because I want a 12 hole, but I want it to be proud of the hole too to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead here and put that in there and zoom back out. Select all this and then again go back and I'm going to do an align. And because I'm proportional, everything in the bottom should be the same. Now, I put this stress relief hole in here to, you know, kind of because I expect the plastic to expand. So it's going to be kind of tight. And, and even with that larger body, I wanted to have a little bit of give. And so that's sort of the idea behind this. I don't know if it's going to actually pan out, but I figured it's worth trying. So we now have, uh, we now have everything set. So this is pretty good. I'm going to print this on the Monoprice Mini. I think it's a good job for this guy. And so let's see, I'm going to export as an STL. And then I'm going to go to Monoprice. And then I got the custom cleanup tool. And I'm going to call this uh, version 1. I'd like to have versions and save it off. And then tell you what, let's go hop over, watch a time lapse of a print on the Mono Price Mini, and then we'll meet back at the bench. Welcome back. Well, as you saw in the time lapse, we printed this out, and actually, it's a very nice. And one of the things that I, I did after I sort of cut the design videos, I went back and I added this little circle against the bottom for my thumb to press against. Now, you see how this fits into my hand? It fits very nicely. I am going to do a smaller version of this because this is, I mean, it fits my hand well, and that's what it's designed for, but I'm going to also design a smaller version too. And the idea is, is this piece fits in here. However, as I was a little bit concerned with, as you can see, it does not fit in here. And also that, that relief, stress relief, 
uh, that I made of about a millimeter did not feed in here unfortunately so I was kind of expecting that I wanted to see how this would perform so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drill this out or actually taper it out a little bit so I'm gonna actually drill it a little bit smaller size and then taper it so let's see how that works okay so I'm back so one of the things I did is I took this eighth inch drill and I reamed, reamed this out a little bit and then I used this taper drill and tapered the front a little bit so it would slide in. And you kind of see, you know, see if I can't zoom in on it here and you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, maybe a little bit of a, a contrasting on the background. So this actually came out pretty good. So this is really tight in here. Now be careful, this is sharp. These burrs are sharp. So I mean, I'm pulling on my fingers, bad idea. So if you're going to mess around with pulling it in or out, I would say use a pair of pliers on it. Be careful because you don't want to damage the burrs either. Uh, also, just hey, as a sidebar bonus tip, um, these things, I'll also have a link to these below, are great because I printed out a bunch of them. I use them for this kind of stuff because, again, you know, you don't want to go too much on the plastic. And this is just enough torque to, to ream it out and then, well, actually to drill it out, then ream it with this works out great. Um, now the piece is I got this and you want to pull it against the burr like this and you can kind of see how I'm going against it like this you can also it makes it very nice to clean up the outside so like that and then you can also kind of run it against the uh, uh, inside here a little bit so I'm actually very happy with this now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to print up a, several of these so this burr bit is what I use most of the time. You'll notice it's a little bit burned. I've used it in the CNC, so I, I you know, it's burned a little bit, so I don't use it anymore in there. But it's still plenty sharp to to deal with, you know, printed plastic like this. And it does a great job taking the edge off. I actually like it a little bit better than this, because this, this does good. But one of the things you'll notice is I can't get to the edge. And this I can get closer to the edge. Because I can start in the edge and just kind of roll it forward. It's a little bit hard for me to show, but you can just kind of roll it forward. And again, I like the idea I added this circle piece on the front. So I got something to kind of go against. And again, this feels rather good in my hands. I know it looks kind of weird because it's got this very small piece, but roughly it's it's the same as, as this um, piece here. The diameter is a little bit bigger in diameter. Uh, but still actually pretty comfortable and you can fit it in so again I thought great idea customizable uh, you know um, what is it a customizable 3d cleaner upper I guess so uh, anyways hey if you found this interesting don't forget the thumbs up subscribe buttons coming up over there swag shop up there if you get any comments or other ideas hey hit me up below I'd love to hear about them maybe I'll go ahead and make them maybe there's something you'd like to see me make Go ahead and ask. We'll see you about it. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.